Legend Total War here, and today we've got a Saving Your Disaster Battle, playing as the Chevaliers of, of Lyonese. And uh, this one here, before before I really get started on the battle, this one is like, I have to massively facepalm, because there is, like, instantly saw, like, gigantic mistakes in the campaign uh, that could have been so easily fixed. Um, that's just probably making this campaign excessively more difficult than it needs to be. So, look, I totally understand that not everyone is an expert at this game, and sometimes the game doesn't make it completely apparent about these sort of things, but, you know, if you are new to the game, it's totally fine to make these mistakes. Let me show you. Okay, so, <laughs> but I did, as soon as I saw it, I really did facepalm, because it's, it's hilarious for me, but at the same time, I recognize I have thousands of hours in this game, and I've made this... I've made this, like, mistake as well before, so it's not really fair. Anyway, so, first thing, uh, this army is about to be attacked by, um, by the Tomb Kings here. This is not a particularly dangerous army normally, but he's on forced march and his army is really in bad shape. Now, there's another thing here that is pretty obvious, is that the upkeep cost here is pretty bloody ridiculous. Um, paying 525 gold per turn for a knight errant is excessive to say the least it might have been a good idea to assign a knight's vow or something um not going to get that done instantly but you've already missed out on a couple of levels up with this dude maybe in the previous battle the the previous lord got wounded uh, but then again this guy he's damaged so it seems like he was participating hard to say um i don't i don't know the full context of what happened here but this is a giant no-no, and I can only assume that you were planning to fix this. But I'll have a look at what you've got. And look, probably none of these guys here actually have the right vow anyway. Uh, it's possible that this guy here does. It's possible, because he was the faction leader of a, of a different Bretonian faction. I won't know until I hire him, so let's have a quick look. And there we go, we've fixed it straight away and we've got a dude here with his experience See, look at the difference between between uh, having the vow sorted which one he's probably only got his knight's vow let me just check yeah yeah he's only got his knight's vow okay um there's with with the middle one here you want to make sure you do that when it's about to occur because it only requires you to do one thing but i'm quite often forget right before actually doing it so this is one that i really struggle with as well because it doesn't remind you hey Check your Knight's Veil or, or anything, so I can totally understand that. Anyway, um, replenishment rate I think went down a little bit, maybe because the dude had an item. Hard to say, not entirely sure. Because um, there's, or maybe, look, I, I don't know. I don't know why that other guy had extra replenishment. It doesn't matter right now, because he's not going to get extra replenishment before he comes under attack. Now you might be thinking, oh, Legend, what are you doing? You might have just got that guy killed. Nah, no, that'd be fine. Um... Okay, so another thing is that he gets attacked, like, in this email, the guy says that he's not sure if the battle is possible, and the way that he set th things up, no, it wouldn't have been possible, but luckily he sent me the auto save, not a quick save, uh, which I, I don't mind, if he had sent me the quick save, I might have been able to win it, um, but because I'm able to make some adjustments, I'll just simply do Your this. Word. She won't get as much replenishment, but she's going to back them up in battle if they decide to besiege Khemri. There's no siege attackers in that army, they can't. So we'll still get a little bit of repl replenishment if that does occur. You, you've done your vows on her, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, also, um, I mean, you do whatever you... What happened here? Whatever, that doesn't matter. Um, I could have sworn we had some money. It doesn't matter though. Um, Maybe it bugged out when we kicked that dude out. Again, not sure. Um, probably don't advise going full spam with knights unless you're only doing field battles. If I had to guess, I'd say that you just... You couldn't have just captured Khemri because you were able to move out of it, so I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, but yeah, definitely not advisable there. Um, but yeah, basically just that. Just, you know, make sure your vows are sorted. All right, now let's get on to the actual battle. Now, even with two armies instead of one, uh, both armies are really badly damaged. So there is another option we can do to help, which will really help. Uh, but I, I spent all the money somehow. Okay, hang on. Um, I will find the money. Yeah, that's not urgent. Get rid of that.
Oh, I mean, that is good. Yeah, because what we want to do... For for the lady. What we want to do is get ourselves a Prophetess of Life. Such relentless heat. She's not available. Okay. Um, just seeing what, what traits are available. This one I'll have to do. Now... Yeah, she will. Oh, she may not come in to reinforce. Maybe not. It's possible. Oh well. If she doesn't, then you know, it's all right. We should still be able to handle it anyway. But we'll see. All right, and we'll just uh, we'll make do from there. Let's get ready to fight this battle. So here's the things to to keep in mind in this coming battle here. Um. If we have our army completely obliterated, that's not really a good thing. So I want to try to make sure that if we are going to win this battle, we need to make sure we win it well. Now, cavalry... Uh, Bretonian cavalry is alright, but all cavalry armies, it's not so good. So did she... No, no. We, so that, that didn't end up working. There's nothing wrong with having her there. She's not increasing supply lines or anything. Uh, but you should probably have someone around just because healing magic for like your heroes is really good. Um, we've also got to watch out for this, which doesn't matter too much against cavalry units, but still, don't be standing around when that pops in. Luckily, cavalry can get out of the way, whereas infantry have a much harder time. Anyway, let's do this battle here. It's still going to be... Um, it's, it's, we still got to be careful. This isn't the kind of battle where we can just charge on in, and everything's going to be fine, because our units are damaged. If they get wiped out, that's not good. Because uh, at the end of the day, he, he is maintaining his finances, even with a, I would not say is a great army. But Knights Errant, they're not super stupidly expensive, so it's okay. You can do it, you know, just make sure you got the Veil done. Bring death to them. Could have merged them before the battle, but I didn't want to do that. It might even say the bounce power is in our favor, but we always have to consider that cavalry are trash tier units in this game. So that doesn't mean just because the bounce power is in our favor that we can just charge in there straight away. Because like I said, we don't just want to win the battle. We want to win it well. If you want to just win the battle, anybody can do this. So the first thing we're going to want to do is, is uh, snipe their lord. Before we send any of these guys in. Because like I said, if I just charge them in... They're just not going to do a good job. They're not good in this situation. There's no archers in this army. There's nothing that they're particularly good against. There are There, there is anti-large in it. So that needs to be a concern. Yes, no! And there's things that we can do to soften them up a little bit prior to going in there. Like, uh, utilizing this. Just on whatever. So, three kills there. Try and do some damage in this. If we could... Ideally, we want to get this guy down to at least 50% health before we send these in. Now, soon they're going to be popping down their, their thing. So, it would be good if we just kept moving. So there's a bit of free damage there and then pull out. What's that? Use the control groups. Sorry. Just in case, uh, hmm. like if we charge in there, I'm fairly confident we'd win because we do have the bounce of power. It just it would suck. It would really hurt. So doing a bit of thinning out on the enemy general could make all the difference here. Because one of the big problems with this kind of army here is that it's not going to break. 
nicked him a little bit, but it still probably did a lot of damage. Okay, I'll split up into two groups here. And that another thing to note is Warhammer 2 battle maps are not very large, but the number of units that you'll often see on the map are quite huge. This is what I've been talking about quite a lot. This, like one army is almost able to span the Okay, let's pop this down. It's almost able to spam the span the entire map. Making flanking really difficult. So from a tactical point of view, smaller battles certainly do favor cavalry. But in big battles like this, absolutely do not favor cavalry. So I don't think any of them died. Alright. Squeeze through this gap in here. Like I said, I want to try and snipe the enemy lord. Oh. Hang on, I can get through that. Oh, this guy might get a little bit stuck here. Okay, and also to split up their army a bit. Okay, just leave leave her fighting there for a bit. She'll get out. I'll send back up soon. And we want to separate their forces a little bit. Cavalry work really well if you can separate their forces and just deal with them one little bit at a time. Alright, these guys here will be able to handle this. But it'd be good if we could surround them. So they'll just tie that down for the time being. Try to avoid that spearman for the time being. Try and take out their anti uh, infantry stuff first. And if we're lucky, we can just get the army loss penalty to destroy the. Uh, anti-large stuff. So don't focus on the enemy's best units, focus on their worst ones that have the uh, highest bounce of power. Such as the, um, the Nehekara warriors, they're not going to do shit to us. Now ignore them, come over here. That's going okay over there. Would have liked to snipe the enemy lord, but this is actually working out really well. Good, okay, those uh, Nehekara warriors are pretty much dead. Just like I said, just avoid them. Even though they're only basic skeletons, these are only basic cavalry as well. Alright, see how their leadership's are already starting to break? This is a good opportunity to now charge in. They're isolated and scared. Scared little bony boys. Also, a little trick from Medieval 2. That if you overwhelm a, a, like an individual unit, which is like, just dogpile them like this, their, uh, their leadership will, will turn... There we go. Look at that. Nice and early. That's what you want to do. Divide and conquer. We've got the mobility advantage, we should use it. And they've essentially wasted their Shabti summon as well. It's all going pretty well here. Now, we certainly could have done this sort of thing with one army, 
It's just a lot easier with doing two. I mean, I, I saw that he was able to do this right away. So it certainly was a disaster situation as it was presented. But just a couple of quick fixes and it's like not a disaster anymore. And those are honestly the best disasters to get. Well, well, they're the best disasters for me to get because they're easy. And they're the, that way I can just move on to the next one rather than get one, which probably you guys prefer, where I'm bogged down for literally fucking hours trying to fix it because it's so goddamn fucked. Okay, now we really do need to sort this out. Whoops. Try to delay them from getting to us. Nice timing. Hey, that dude heals. He had a yeah, he's had a potion of toughness. Alright, pull them out because they're not winning. We're winning very much over here. Just didn't want them interfering with this. out of the shit here. Sort of use them as ping pong balls, just keep charging. Bretonian cavalry have really good charge bonuses, you want to make use of it as much as possible. these and I reckon we'll be able to break out of it yeah most of the units are starting to disintegrate now we should be able to get them out of there if we really want to that's not going great there this one here is nearly wiped out let's pull him out Another one getting wiped out. Cool. Got some really damaged units in here. They can go down to four men and they won't get wiped out, but if they go down to three, they will. Alright, I think the army loss penalty has just been inflicted. Just pull away from that dude because he's going to pop down the curse, which that's uh, not pleasant to go through, but it shouldn't affect cavalry as much as if we were infantry. And there we go. So I don't think any of our units got wiped out. And if that's the case, then that's essentially a perfect result. Like I said, we could have, at the very start of the battle, just gone charging in there like a moron. But by isolating a few of them and taking them out early, it was able, we were able to, you know, really not take much damage at all. All right, let's have a look. And no units got wiped out. So that's, that's about as good as it's going to get. And here, have some extra money. You got My enough chivalry for now. And it seems like this situation will be a lot more under control. But yeah, keep an eye on those Grail Vows. It's really important you, you keep an eye on that.
Because you were paying three times as much as you needed to for those units. And it's not like they're amazing units anyway. Because that was a basic as fuck army. Anyway, that's the end of this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And I uh, hope it helped. And I will see you guys in the next one. See you next time, fuckers.